note, let's go right to the phone line because Mike Shoesmith is in the house. Mike Shoesmith is the executive editor of the PNN News and Ministry Network and has been for a long, long time. He's an author, a syndicated blogger. He's also a certified, licensed private investigator for the nation of Canada. And so, Mike, thank you for being in the house with us. And uh, speaking of Canada, there's a very special day coming up July the 1st, but something not so special is going to happen on July the 1st. Tell us about it. Well, before we get to that, Carl, uh, i got to say, I'll never forget where I was back in November 2012 when the results were pouring in for the Obama election, his re-election, right? Yeah. And uh, the results were pouring. I was actually in Quebec, Canada, listening to WEBY's live stream of the results. And uh, just as it was uh, becoming more and more evident that the Dem- uh, Barack Obama would win a second term, a uh, man cow was being interviewed, right? Yeah. And he said the following. He said... By the way, I've been on his show twice. <laughs> Yeah, Did, yeah, yeah, he's an awesome. Yeah, he's an awesome interviewer and a great thinker. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, but 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 he said the following. He said the stupid people have won. Yeah. Right <laughs> now, that may sound like that he's just belittling Obama supporters and making fun of them and mocking them. But it turns out, Carl, that never have five words said so much. What what he was saying was that this is a medical terminology. The word verb. Stupere. Now, write this word down for me, Carl. Okay. Uh, it's a Latin verb, S-T-U-P-E-R-E. S-T-U-P-E-R-E. Stupere, okay. right? I've got it. And, and uh, what is the definition of stupid? Now, I want the audience to pay very close attention to the definition of stupid, okay? Stupidity is a quality of being stupid, or an act or idea that exhibits properties of being stupid. In the character study of uh, the stupid man attributed to the Greek philosopher Theophrastus, stupidity was defined as, quote, a mental slowness or uh, a mental slowness in speech or action. Mm-hmm. The modern English word stupid has a broad range of application from being slow of mind, indicating a lack of intelligence, care, or reason, dullness of feeling or sensation, which uh, also means torpidity, senselessness, insensitivity, or lacking interest or point. It can either imply a congenital lack of capacity for reasoning or a temporary state of daze or slow-mindedness, okay? okay? So why did I say that this is a medical condition? Because we go to the word stupor. Yes. This is a medical condition, right? Right. Now, now, what is the word stupor? The etymology of the word stupor comes from the Latin stupere. Now, what is the spelling? S-T-U-P-E-R-E. Is that not exactly like the, the uh, etymology of the word stupid, Carl? Yes, is it is. Spelling? Listen, exactly. I'm looking. I was checking you out while you were talking just to make sure you weren't leading us astray. <laughs> and I knew you wouldn't. I knew you wouldn't. But no, everything you're saying is correct. I'm looking at the Latin definition for stupere, uh, stupio, uh, stupu, stupu or something like that. I don't know how you would pronounce that one. But stupere is there, and you're right. It's where we get our word stupor from, or just kind of just kind of <laughs> dull-minded and out of it. And, and both the word stupor, which is a medical term, mm-hmm. and stupid both have the exact same etymology. They come from the Latin word yes. stupere, right? Yes. Yes. So what are these symptoms? Yeah. of this medical condition. <laughs> the non-thinking people won. Yeah. When, when Man Cow said the stupid people won, he meant the non-thinking people. Right. Well, well, the, the top <laughs> symptom of someone who's in a stupor, if not stimulated externally, okay, if not stimulated externally, a patient with stupor, with the medical condition of being stupid or stupor, will be in a sleepy state most of the time, a sleepy state most of the time, right? Yeah. So on July 1st, uh, which is Canada Day, by the way, uh, it's the day when we celebrate our, our confederation. We're not, we, don't have, we don't celebrate independence from Great Britain, as you do. Mm-hmm. Uh, we celebrate a confederation, is what they call it. Mm-hmm. We're still attached to the crown. Maybe you, guys, uh, maybe you guys do need to have a day where you celebrate independence from Great Britain. <laughs> uh I don't see that happening, but no. but uh, on on Canada Day, uh, the the uh, 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 Justin Trudeau, son of communist uh, Pierre Elliott Trudeau, best friend of communist uh, Fidel Castro, and and Pierre uh, Justin Trudeau, perhaps being the son of 
Fidel Castro. The jury's still out on that. Yeah, right. Yeah. But, and and by the way, there's been a lot of a lot of mainstream speculation and reports on that. Go ahead. He uh, he had was able to get a a, a new law passed, uh, uh, completely and totally legalizing slash decriminalizing all use of marijuana across the country, okay? And, and now, when, when say, will that take effect? July 1st on Canada Day. On Canada Day. Day. Okay, go ahead. Go on ahead. Canada Day, right? Okay. So, I, so I'm so i looking at the the uh, the website Narconon, okay, which is Narcotics Anonymous. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's Narconon, right? Mm -hmm. they're, they're the experts in this sort of thing when it comes to narcotic use, right? Mm -hmm. And they're saying that, okay, what are they saying here? Let me get this right here, okay? All right. They're saying that marijuana is addictive, right? That's yeah. what they're saying. It, it is addictive yeah. and can be extremely dangerous. Why? Of course. Because of, this, because of the symptoms of marijuana use. Now, tell me if any of this sounds uh, uh, familiar here, Carl. Uh, bloodshot eyes, mm -hmm. sleepy, and lethargic. Mm -hmm. well, what, is the, what is the leading symptom of stupor? Mm -hmm. It's sleepiness, yes. right? It's, leth it's lethargy. And here, Narconon is saying one of these signs of, of marijuana use is sleepiness and lethargy, yeah. confusion, lack of focus, uh, misjudging time, secretiveness, lack of coordination. These are all the signs of marijuana use, okay? Yeah. And these are also the signs for stupor, yeah. for stupidity. Yeah. Never have five words said so much, Carl. I'm telling you. So, and, and, go ahead. Well, my, 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 my whole point in all of this is to, say, is to say, because I've had this conversation with a few people recently about why Trudeau is, why are the liberals in, and, and in fact the Democrats in the United States, why are they doing this? Why are, they, why, are they, why are there more and more alcohol retail establishments in Canada uh, these days? Why are they opening up? Now, Walmart has been selling alcohol in the United States for many years. Uh, they've just started allowing that in Canada now, in Ontario. Now, Walmart can sell. Why are they opening that up? In spite of all of the issues with alcoholism around the world, uh, especially in the West, why are there more and more uh, venues where people can can access alcohol, an addictive substance which is destroying lives, Carl. Why is that happening? Why is the government of Canada allowing uh, a marijuana use to be decriminalized and legalized? Why is this happening? I had this conversation with people recently because it was a, I was at a local business yesterday and the business uh, owner, uh, he came up to me and, and we were talking about this issue. And he said, why do you think this is? I said, listen, it's because... Uh, Stupid people, people who are in a stupor, will always vote either liberal or Democrat. Always. And that is why these people are pushing for this to be legalized, decriminalized, and, and become ubiquitous throughout society. And so because stupid people, because marijuana, clearly according to Alcoholics Anonymous, makes people stupid. It puts people in a stupor, and so does alcohol. Yeah. And so if they can no keep doubt. these people in a, in a stupor, in a stupid state, which is a medical term, right. uh, they, they virtually guarantee, uh, they virtually guarantee, they're, they're, they're basically just, just ensuring that they will get these votes in the next election. I mean, yeah. that's, that is, that in you, a nutshell, that is what's happening. You mean they're trying to create more useful idiots? More useful idiots. Never have five words said so much. Bro. Yeah, yeah. From the Latin word stupere. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving it a little Italian accent there. But uh, uh, right. listen, hey, here's what I want to do, Mike. I want to take a time out. American Survival Wholesale is proud to sponsor this ministry and their efforts to shed light on the issues that face our nation. As a veteran and Christian-known and operated company, we support the freedom to express these Christian principles. We all understand the importance of being prepared. After witnessing the devastation of Hurricanes Harvey, Irma, and the wildfires that affected so many, please support this ministry by clicking on the link below and check out the amazing Alt Media Package for our listeners. Plus, if you use the promo code P. N N Radio. That's P N N Radio. You will receive free shipping, a savings of up to two hundred dollars. Just click on the link below. But please do it today 
Your support means so much to this channel. The Satanists wanted to install their own tribute, a pagan idol, on the Capitol grounds right next to the Ten Commandments. Billions around the planet are witnessing a world in the grasp of sadistic spiritual darkness. This unholy alliance has infected our governments, our religious institutions, and our societies. The world appears to be unraveling. But can the evil behind these dark supernatural forces be defeated? Is everything playing out just as the Bible predicted it will in the final days? At last, you can know the answers to mankind's most urgent questions and learn your destiny among today's events in the new, unprecedented work taking the prophecy world by storm. Gods and Thrones, Nakash, Forgotten Prophecy and the Return of the Elohim by best-selling author, former decorated law enforcement officer and senior pastor Carl Gallops. This changes everything. Available now wherever fine books are sold.